So we're going to be calculating variance and standard deviation of a continuous random variable, how spread out the probabilities are. Now we actually have two formulas for this, uh, so I'm going to show you both formulas, but I'm only going to work with one of them. Two formulas here, take a bit of time to wrap your head around them. The variance of the random variable x is equal to integral between infinity and negative infinity. Uh, x minus the mean, that little mu there is the mean, all squared times f of x. And the mean, you already know how to calculate the mean, but you'll have to do a separate calculation for that. All right, separate version. The variance of x is equal to the expected value of the random variable x squared minus the mean squared. Now, um, it's they'll both spit out exactly the same answer because I can prove um, that this formula is actually exactly the same as this formula. I'm not going to do it right now. Uh, but I'm going to solve the question using this formula because I think this one's slightly easier to work with, believe it or not. Okay, uh, let's do it. All right, so I'm going to find the variance of this one here. Uh, now, I'm going to just follow my formula. The variance of the random variable x is equal to the expected value of the random variable squared minus the mean squared, and I'm going to write that as e x all squared. That's the mean there, that's the same as that. Same deal. Okay, now we're going to have to do two integrations. An integration for this one, and an integration for that one. So, um, now the expected value, I'll do this one first, I think, uh, just because we're sort of more familiar with that. Now to find the mean, to find the mean, we're integrating uh, between 2 and 0, x times the function uh, with respect to x. Okay, that's this bit, but then I need to square my result. Now, what about this bit? Well, I'm finding, I'm still finding a mean, so I can still use the mean formula, but it's the, or an expected value. Uh, but I'm squaring my x. So instead of just placing an x here, I need to place an x squared there. Okay, so I'm going to be doing x squared times the function 0.5x with respect to x. And that. And then I'm subtracting the two of them. Uh, now, I'm going to jump through this one really quickly. Oh, and the integrals between 2 and 0. Okay, um, now I can take out the 0 0.5, which I will do because there's just so much going on here. So 0 0.5, we've got x cubed, so that's going to, x squared times x is x cubed. I'm going to raise it to the power x to the 4 and divide by 4. Um, and that's between 2 and 0. And then I'm going to subtract, and again the 0 0.5 can come out the front, um, and then... I'm left with x times x, which is x squared. The integral of that is x cubed on 3. And again, I'm going between 2 and 0. And it's very tempting to think we're finished, but we are not, because this has to be squared. Whoa. Okay, so now I'm subbing 2 in for x, subbing 0 in for x, subtracting one from the other, multiplying by 0 0.5. I'm subbing 2 in for x, I'm subbing 0 in for x, multiplying by 0 0.5, and then squaring it. So I've subbed 2 in here for x, uh, then the minus 0 here. So that's um, 2 to the 4 is 16, divided by 4 is 4. Uh, 16 divided by 4 is 4, times 0 0.5 is 2. 2 minus, okay, I'm just going to be a bit more careful here. 2 to the 3 is 2, 4, 8, 8 over 3. 8 over 3 times 0 0.5 is 4 over 3 but then I need to square it. So now I have 2 minus 4 over 3 squared. I'm just going to finish this over here. So that's equal to 2 minus uh, 4 squared over 3 squared, which is 16 over 9. Okay, so 2 minus 16 over 9. I'll just do a little bit of fraction stuff. 2 is the same as 18 over 9. 18 over 9 minus 16 over 9 is 2 over 9. The variance, which is the thing I was trying to find, 
is equal to uh, 2 over 9, and we can put that in a calculator if we want. Now, what about the standard deviation? I hear you ask. Well, that's really, really simple because standard deviation is equal to the square root of variance. And in this case, the variance is 2 over 9, uh, so the standard deviation is equal to the square root of 2 over 9. Um, and we can, we can do simplify that if you know a little bit about simplifying these things. The root 2 over 3, that is our standard deviation. Okay, lots, lots going on there. So make sure that you write down this formula. It doesn't appear on formula sheets. Make sure that you understand how I've gone from there all the way down to there and then make sure you 